Hi, this is our first review, and we're doing it on the Cabela's African Safari. First off, we want to show you the options of this game. We have gameplay, which they have HUD, which we don't really know what that is. Hit camera, which it zooms in when you shoot and it's a dead shot. And auto save, so automatically save after you beat a level. And you can switch these on and off. Controls. You can set it to configuration set one, and it gives you the options, or set two, gives you what each button means. Invert lock, don't know what that means either. And then on vibration, so like if something be like something spooky is gonna happen or something, then you can turn the vibrations on or off. And the controller vibrates when you hit it. Next is you can do an instant hunt, and that means just you just start a hunt and you instantly just start right into a hunt. You don't have to do anything else. You just get to kill stuff. Pretty cool. Just wait a second. We're waiting for it to so load. Alright, okay, it says hunt five black wild beasts on the northern Cape Plains. This is another good feature though, because it tells you like what to hunt. You know, some hunting games they just say kill this animal and you say, Well, I don't know what this animal looks like. So you just shoot a whole bunch until you get arrested or something. And it tells you but it tells you what they look like, like where they've been, where they're going. And you can track things on this very easily because there's red bugs around the animal tracks. And they have, like, this hunt. This is a um, herd hunt. You get to hunt animals out of a herd, see? You, get to pick, you can pick your gun. You have a whole bunch of rifle selections. Which, to do that, you press select. No, you press triangle. And say, I'm going to hunt these big animals so I can choose a 600, right? And so, you can zoom in on the scope and just shoot. And on this, you can unlock different guns after you beat or certain levels. Okay, so he just beat the comp. He just got his accomplishment. He got the five wildebeest. And it tells you if it's a trophy animal, it will give you the weight of it. And then after you're done, it will give you st statistics where it shows you how long you were, how many shots you fired, your fire accuracy, your safari points, and your best distance. And that's a level. I mean, this is just random levels that the game chooses for you. See, and then this is an example of the autosave. It, it just saved what he just did. And overall, this is a good game. I mean, it's fun to play, and it has a good storyline. Sorry, that's my mom's phone. Of course. That's fine. Okay. Now you can do Safari Hunt, where you go, you have to... Yes, the first place says here, it's Namibia, where you have a certain amount of objectives, you have to kill a certain amount of each animal that they choose, and then once you beat all those, then you move on to a new location. And you have a whole bunch of people you can ask, like there's a porter, you ask what gun you should use, and there's a tracker. tracker. See, like, see, here's the porter. I you talk to him, he says there are leopards out there, so you might want to use a 12 gauge. Or any shotgun of that kind, because leopards are pretty fast at running, so. That's that, and then you can go. You can go down here, and you can go talk to your guide. And see over here, there's a map of the area, and then once you go talk to your guide, then you see. see these. They tell you what you have to hunt. You can hunt three zebra, hunt three steenbuck along the Orange River, or hunt three kudu in Dummerland. And I'm gonna show you this. No, I'm gonna show you this one. The Steam Box. It's a pretty cool game. I mean, I, I love the storyline because you can go to different countries in Africa. And you have the big five, 
and like you get to kill rhinos and stuff. It's pretty awesome. And another good thing on this game is that the graphics are pretty good for the level of difficulty on this game. This has got pretty good graphics. See, now I can choose my gun. I think I'm going to go with a shotgun because the steam bucks aren't that big. So I think I'm going to go with a 12 gauge custom. That reloads the fastest. I got 12 gauge. Oh, and see that yellow dot on the map? Those are the birds. Yeah, right here. If you see birds, don't shoot them unless the level tells you to, because you will get arrested. It's and you want to get to these, the green dots, but when you get inside these circles right here, the white circle, that means they can see you or hear you, and they'll possibly run away. And the red ones are dangerous animals that could possibly hurt you, so don't try not to go inside a red circle and see these steam bucks. It says there's one right there. See it? It says gender, female, health, unharmed, animal, steam buck. So you know that's your animal that you want to kill. So I'm just going to go up here. And when you see, see how it has the green circle and then when you move, and, and then once it's on an animal, it will turn red. The whole thing will turn red. That means you're locked onto an animal. And I'm just going to jump it because they can't run that fast. So you just run up onto it. See it? It's right there. You can just He's run right up there. onto it. Run up onto it and just shoot it right in the back. You're not that fast. And they don't die within a one shot. you got to shoot them a couple times. See? See them? I mean, once they're wounded, you just have to walk. To follow them. See, See, look, it says Steen Buck. It's a 56-point trophy. I have two animals left to hunt. See that green circle right there no, on the map? That that caliber will destroy the integrity of the trophy. Oh, see, it just said that I can't use a 12-gauge. Because it, it will destroy, destroy the animal because it is too big of a gun. So I'll use a 410, which is a slightly smaller shotgun. Maybe he will like, allow me to use that one. So... It says there's another steam buck right here. I'm gonna go find him. But the rifles, they have the better scopes, so if you want to take a long range shot, you should use a rifle because they have better scopes. So you can zoom in. It's pretty cool. I can just find the animal now. I use. Oh, and you can you can also have handguns. You have a I have unlocked a 44 custom, a 454, and a 44. I'm gonna use my 44 custom. Yeah, as I said before, the graphics on this game are pretty good for difficult like, difficulty of the programming. I mean, in a hunting game, you have to have all kinds of animals and different terrain. See, now he's wounded, so I can just go up to him and kill him easily. See him? See, I got a 140 mass on him. I killed him from a distance of two yards. It's a pretty fun game, actually. I, I completely recommend it. And see, these orange dots mean that the animal won't hurt you, but you're not supposed to shoot it, so... Alright, so I'm just gonna quit out of this. So that is all we have for Cabela's African Safari. We would totally recommend it. This is a great game. And, and thank you. You can get it at Best Buy or GameStop. That's where I recommend. Thank, thank you, you for, for watching, watching our reviews.